1.5 minutes. Uh, yes, we confirm. Okay. Just two minutes to go now until uh, the undocking command is sent for the Soyuz to begin backing away from the International Space Station. It will take about 90 seconds for it to actually undock. So the undocking should take place at 4.16 a.m. Central Time. Death 7, command is armed. 40 seconds remaining. 35 seconds. Twenty seconds uh, remaining prior to uh, D seven command execution. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Okay. The command has been sent. Moscow at 12.14.00, the 7 command has been uh, sent uh, for SSVP. Is illuminated, the 11, the 15 illuminated, illuminated, the G17 is illuminated, S13 illuminated. And uh, mechanical undocking command for the Soyuz has been sent, and now uh, we should be seeing it back away in uh, about 90 seconds. Uh, and uh, the uh, 17 needs to be armed. Uh, it, it is armed now, 20 seconds remaining. We have to take that. Ten. Okay. Five. Five seconds. Sending it now. Uh, so Moscow, Moscow, this is Astra 1 at 12.15.00. The 17 command has been sent. Hooks are open. Uh, it's not eliminated. The 15 not eliminated. S13 not eliminated. S11. Uh, transfer hatch is illuminated. Switching to page 42. Uh, we're standing by for uh, mechanical uh, team here in the Mission Control Center in Houston, confirming that the hooks uh, uh, holding Soyuz to the space station are uh, driving and uh, re beginning to release the Soyuz, and we should uh, again see it begin backing away, which will be the time we use for its official undocking. And for our goal. In, in approximately one minute, it will need you will need to send it after the undock. Which command? R7. Copy. Just uh, 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 arm this command right now. So after undock, after separation, and for now, on the SESVP display. Okay, uh, which I have uh, open in front of me. Okay, a mechanical uh, connection is the indication is off, not illuminated. SSVP mode uh, has been executed. Uh, okay, uh, looking at the stopwatch now. Uh, uh, Moscow, twelve sixteen. 40. And, uh, so I'm uh, seeing the physical separation. Uh, uh, I, I confirm GESO 1-2 uh, in attitude 1-2. Uh, Arm R7 command. Uh, I'll put it in work now. And as you can see, so we use MS-07 now backing away from the International Space Station. That uh, undocking happened right on schedule at 4.16 a.m. Central Time as the space station and Soyuz were over Mongolia. Mode is off. And I confirm uh, GESO in attitude 
and separation of the uh, Soyuz uh, from ISS. R-7 execu executed, and uh, uh, I uh, am uh, monitoring using wide angle, switching to page 43. Okay, 43. Uh, one minute has elapsed. That uh, four cents Hina undocking officially wraps up the Expedition 55 time at the International Space Station. NASA's Scott Tingle, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's Norishiga Kanai, and Roscosmos's Anton Shkaprilov spent 166 days on board the station since their docking to the ROSVET module on December 19th. And again, that undocking came at 4.16 a.m. Central Time, 253 miles above Mongolia. So he's now in attitude control, no longer relying on the space station to orient in space. And at uh, well, no, I just another minute or so, we'll be seeing the first separation burn. That'll last eight seconds and move the Soyuz away at a rate of about 1.2 miles per hour. Two minutes elapsed. Once we're at three minutes, uh, at the stopwatch, okay, stopwatch, th three minutes, uh, thrusters will be uh, on for eight seconds. Fifteen uh, seconds prior to depot activation. Great view here of the Soyuz from the cameras on board the International Space Station as it's moving away from the ROSVET module, which it just undocked from, again at 4.16 a.m. Central Time. operation. Copy. Five seconds. And in eight seconds, uh, the approaching attitude control thrusters operation is off. A VS car maneuver. I'm monitoring the maneuver. GSO in attitude is off. First separation burn that lasted eight seconds. Done now, and another one coming up to last 15 seconds. That'll increase speed to 3.4 miles uh, per hour compared to the International Space Station. All this, again, getting it ready to uh, get to a sufficient distance from the space station so that the deorbit burn can be performed at 6.47 a.m. Central. General Gessel, in 20 seconds, I'm standing by for the PO activation for 15 seconds. A copy. Uh, 10 seconds prior to depot activation. Copy. Uh, I confirmed depot operation. Uh, the indication is eliminated. Five seconds. Second separation burn now beginning. Again, that'll last 15 seconds. 15. Uh, depot uh, operation is off is not eliminated, and uh, I'm monitoring a, a keep left uh, command matrix, left field. And that second burn now complete, everything looking good as the uh, Soyuz continues moving further away from the International Space Station. Inside we have uh, NASA's astronaut Scott Tingle, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's Norishiga Kanai, and Roscosmos Cosmonaut.